Shopify has released a new update to their platform, which will finally give us the option to translate the URLs to the uh, language that the users are viewing your site in. This is, of course, great to strengthen your uh, SEO because you can put the keywords in the URL. So in this video, I will show you how to translate the URL, so where you can do this, and how to do this in bulk as well, and some quick tips and things to keep in mind while doing this process. So from the Shopify backend, you can go to the Translate and Adapt app, just how you would normally translate any details. Then you can go, for example, to the products. And here we open up a product. Here you can see a new property, which is called URL handle. So we can see the English version here already. And then on the right side, we have the Dutch one. So we can just go ahead and copy the title, paste it, save. And now you can see a Dutch handle. How does this look in the front end? So currently viewing the English side, if I would go here and switch to Dutch, you now see the title in Dutch. Again, this is great for your SEO because as this would be the keywords, this is now reflected in the URL as well, and it wouldn't be in Dutch. If we go back to the English version, Shopify has implemented an automatic redirect. So the old URL would of course be this. So people from Google would still end up on this URL in the beginning, but then they get automatically redirected to the new one. And if you would go here and take a look at the hreflang, which is Google's way of telling that you're currently viewing the English site, but what is the Dutch version of this? You can see that if I go to NLNL, it's in, uh, using the new one already. So that's great. So you can do this for your products or collections, blog titles, blog posts, pages, basically everything that has a URL or a handle. So here you can see contact, and we can do contact us. This can be done in bulk as well. So if you go to settings, you scroll down to languages and do an export. I will not do the meta fields for speed, but then do an export. And if you then open this up, for example, in Google Sheets, what you can do is that you can add a filter here. So let's see, create a filter. And I just remove everything and add the handle. You can now see all the handles of only done this for the Dutch version, but then I can here add the translated values. Of course, the handle cannot contain any special characters and it has to be lowercase with dashes, etc. You can see some examples here, but in this way we can import this directly for, for example, all of your products, collections, pages, etc. Um, there's a few things to keep in mind. Uh, of course, we don't recommend to do this in the production store directly. So first do this on the staging or development store and just test with one product or one collection, how your Shopify teams, how your Shopify team handles this, and to, just to double check if everything works as expected. And if you know that for sure, you can do this in production, but then again, we, we would advise you to do it with one product or with one collection first, and don't do this directly in bulk for everything. So just go one by one, and if you know for sure that everything works as expected, then you can do a bulk import of all the products and collections.